almost forgot. Syrup. Okay. So if you couldn't tell, I love breakfast. Like, I really love it. If you haven't, go check out my pancake challenge video. But anyways, one of the most underrated breakfast foods of all time, French toast. I'm gonna have me a nice French toast meal, and we're gonna make this epic because Matt Stoney did 50, and um, I may do 100. No, I'm, I'm not doing 100, that'd be stupid. I'm, I'm doing 60, 60 pieces. <sighs> this is the French toast cheat meal. Let's get into it. Because I love French toast so much and I want this all to be delicious, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you my recipe for how I make it right now. And basically I'm going to re have to repeat this a ton of times. So this is for one, so times 50 or 60 or something. It's a ton of eggs. What I do, and yes, I am on one knee, is I'm gonna use two types of bread. I'm gonna use Texas toast, which you have to, and this granola bread, because I actually like it, and it was on sale, and YouTube hasn't monetized me yet. So, your boy always looks for the savings when possible. I highly recommend that to you, too. Moving on. This, I will use the whole loaf, but I have enough for just a little preview of what's to come. This is Texas toast in all of its glory. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one egg and I'm probably gonna give this to my mom so she can have a nice little snack. We break our egg. Let me wash my hands really quick. Egg in the bowl, hands are washed. Now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to if you don't wanna see this part, just skip ahead. I'm mean, gonna put in one fourth cup, one fourth cup. I spilled a dribble, but for this, we'll use about a one fourth, cause this is for one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. This is the cheaper version, but the best ones are like the pure vanilla. So just one fourth, throw that in for some nice vanilla flavor. Moving on, you gotta take some sugar. I'm gonna do about half a, half a teaspoon of sugar. Let me put all this away, keep the bowl here. Okay, so I am back. I'm going to mix this up. And you want it mixed in until it turns yellow. This is the yolk, or a tint of yellow. Tint, a tint. Anyways. That up, make sure the yolk is everywhere. This is gonna be a hit with the whole family, the girlfriend, the boyfriend, yourself, yourself. What other people? Your aunts and uncles, because they count too. Now, this is super easy. Take your toast. What you're going to do is pat it down and make sure the Texas toast does its job and soaks up the egg in our little, our little concoction. Then you're gonna flip it just like that. It soaked up most of the liquid. Anybody remember this? Pancake challenge, go watch that video. Anyways, ham it up. Take your toast. And drop it off. Come over here and you set a timer. What we want is the cooking side to get that golden tint. Back to the griddle. We're just gonna take a little peek. It's white, but we want it a little bit more gold, but we'll wait a little bit. There we go. Right there, and it's got that awesome little gold tint. This is good toast right here. So maybe I'll flip it to this side because that burner, so now it's here, had more heat. So, in the meantime, You get your powdered sugar. Fruits, if you want, so bananas, uh, caramelized apples, peaches, strawberries. Then, we take our maple syrup.
out of here from Katie on the review. And she's a big French Toast fan, so. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Legit? Tasty, yeah. Good job. Hell yeah. I did something right. Whee! Anyways, try that recipe out. I wanted something to be useful, so that's a good recipe to use. Not a recipe times a lot. We got our bread, we got our toast, and egg wash. Turn this on, just start cooking. As was the case for the pancakes, we have these two, and I'm just gonna put this on a low heat so I could throw French toast or from here to there to there to there. And we have ham. Pan, Pam. Let's do this. And over and over and over and over again. I actually underestimated my mix, so I had to make another bowl to get these ones through. So we're using more mix. Okay, so I made the mix twice. I'm gonna be honest, this one didn't make it. I have one more set cooking right now, but otherwise, everything else is in here. Now, we've got our bread. All right, here's the mountain, and uh, come down here. So first, I'm gonna weigh myself. Hey, I lost weight. Uh, 175, we'll call it that. This platter weighs 2.5 pounds. 
10 pounds of French toast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, see you at the table. This is the 10 pounds of French toast challenge. Almost forgot. Syrup. Okay, 835. Put that right there. Let's do this. Maybe I should just start from the side. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Nutella peanut butter, straight up. This is gonna be rich. Look at that. That's what dreams are made out of. I tried using the knife. We're gonna go in. Real talk. Just marshmallow. Nutella and peanut butter. See, this is called normal. What's up? Okay, check this out. That's just peanut butter, dude. It's peanut butter frosting, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I hadn't had French toast in so long, I forgot how good it is. Whoops. You have to see the inside of this, what I'm working with. Look at that. It's so rich, but it's so damn good. I think this is Texas toast. Mm-hmm, that would be the Texas toast. I got the cherry. Mm. I love cherries so much. So, first attempt at French toast. I think it should return again. Look at that. I just got a strong maple syrup flavor. Strong. This is like, this is like the dream. Oh my God, just like maple syrup, like the real stuff is like bomb. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. <sighs> Strawberries. Dip it in the syrup. It's so rich. Like I'd recommend this, but I wouldn't because it's like. That's Nutella and peanut butter, dude.
I forgot to mention, but I rechecked Matt Stoney's video. Was I wrong? He did not do 50. Matt Stoney did 36. I have 60. Big mistake. Just kidding. We got this. Nutella. It's like the PB&J challenge over again. I don't want it to end, dude. It's so bomb. Like, it has everything. It's a perfect example of how to dead. Enlightened, now is your time. It's time for Enlightened to shine. Shine Enlightened, shine down. Whee! This is the good stuff. Sponsor me. Look at that. That's like a cinnamon swirl in this stuff. What I'm gonna do is take thy French toast and make French toast sandwiches with the ice cream. If you haven't tried that, try it. I love when I get to say, a beer meets food line, cause he's the man. French toast peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> With some Nutella scrapped around. It's rich and good. That is so good, dude. That could be regular ice cream. Dude, French toast is so good. This one's a little burnt. It's all about the inside. Nutella and ice cream.
see, I'm taking the ones with like a lot of peanut butter and Nutella, and I'm making them like tacos. Never gets old. Make ice cream sandwiches very shortly. Our ice cream's in here. The texture of the French toast mixed with like the ice cream. See that Nutella? Oh my god. Gotta clean up, clean up the ice cream and the peanut butter on the sides. French toast is filling but delicious. Final two. Yep. It's so bomb. That's what you gotta do, you gotta come in. I wonder how we did it on time this time. Maybe I should eat it like a normal person. I'm gonna eat it like a normal person. Oreo? That's it? Oreo? Oh, there's a Reese's too. Let's just eat some French toast, you know, just just a slice, because I'm trying to be low carb right now. Very rich, but very delicious. Thirty-three minutes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I found cinnamon toast crunch. That was pretty good. Oh. Ten pounds of rich French toast. A bunch of Nutella, peanut butter. Wait. See that? The cinnamon stuff they put into this is one of my favorite things in the world. Clean, 908. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with some ice cream, whipped cream, Nutella, peanut butter, banana, strawberry. Wait. Cinnamon French toast, or whatever this cereal is called. Cinnamon toast crunch. 60 pieces of toast. It was well worth it. Mm. I had to add in more halfway through, but that was delicious. Easy money. Except I'm not paid yet on YouTube. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, sub, share my page. If you think I'm any good at all, share. But uh, yeah, have a great night. Peace. See you guys.